Hey, I'm Eddie Marshall. <laughs> Welcome to Summer Fun. Uh, I, I love this topic when we're going to come to because uh, it's going down to being present. This is something that I have uh, personally have gotten a lot of success from and it's really helped me out to truly understand the importance behind emotional health. And it's so simple yet so hard to fully grasp around really what the actual present moment is going on here. Because if we just look at ourselves having this unbelievable, amazing summer fun, we're out there at the beach, or we might even be in your backyard. You could be at a river or wherever you are uh, in your day-to-day -day, day. But we're looking at this present moment, and sometimes we just get ourselves just really sitting there, and we might even pay thousands of dollars, go on vacation somewhere to just sit there and finally just uh, relax. And uh, once you start relaxing, you just finally truly understand like what that present moment is all about. But sometimes if we really focus in like who we're, how we were actually built up with our minds, I'm a huge component of the subconscious mind because the more the way that we think, we constantly think more and more and more, well, the way that we're thinking, the emotions that we use, we are causing a habit in our mind. So for instance, if I'm trying to be in this present moment and I have a habit of being nervous or anxiety of you know, public speaking, then it'll constantly make me be more stressful about you know speaking out loud to people. However, if I get myself back into that present moment and really, really understand the present moment while I'm giving a speech, or for instance, if like you're at work or something, you know, if you have yourself a stressful work environment, try to continue yourself to see yourself in the present moment, and you can find yourself actually like enjoying what you do or you know you won't be like on the weekend or something and like oh there's a monday coming up i have to go back to work well if we find ourselves in those habit forming thoughts or emotions then we're not truly in this present moment which is a gift i believe for all of us and it's a true blessing that we everyone has and another thing that we're kind of stressing out we could be at the present moment at the beach or something and bills might be kind of piling up or we might find something about our health like our foot's kind of acting up and really it's just kind of bugging us but it's really getting away from this you know a thousand dollars of being down at a beach present moment ability that you have and some people find you know much much uh, benefit going home after a vacation they just feel more relaxed well dr chip talked about it yesterday but the mind is powerful and you get yourself in thinking more and more and more you're using so much energy and you're like why is my foot hurt so bad or oh i don't like my boss or i got so many bills to pay for coming up this month and everything well the more energy you're using towards that thought pattern the less you're getting yourself away from the actual present moment which is really all there is because the past is essentially when we're looking at the mind it's just an illusion you know, if I'm thinking about back in fifth grade, I had a hard time speaking out loud in class during presentations. Wow, that's like an image that I'm playing in the side of my mind, getting myself all wound up for no really big reason that I'm just really doing to myself. And we can do that same thing if we're both like kind of here sitting at the beach and we're enjoying this beautiful sunrise and we're just watching the sun waves come, the, the waves come to us and we're just enjoying the moment. We're finding all these things come up causing an illusion to what is actually happening that we've actually created for ourselves at the present moment, we can see that those can simply just be erased. Because when we're looking at this, how the minds are working, if we resist a lot of these things, if we resist you know, with emotions, with using emotions like anger or guilt or shame, then they're going to persist. They're gonna constantly keep coming up if we're always trying to resist and push them away, like, no, I don't wanna work on Monday, or no, I don't wanna talk, I don't wanna think about these bills coming up. It's going to persist the more and more we constantly do it. But the best way, most effective way to really, really hone into the resisting is just be aware of those thoughts coming in. And you're just sit there, we're both at the beach, just sit there and relax and enjoy the present moment. And if they do come up, you know, something about my health, you know, a shoulder's acting up or something, it is what it is. You know, if, if I keep resisting it, then it's gonna persist. So if we get ourselves back in this present moment and then really, really hone into the actual thing going on, you know, time after time, second after second, however you wanna look at it, the best way that we can do it is just, Get ourselves back in that present moment. Breath. 
breathing is so powerful. It really hones us back in to what is going on right now. We can be in our cubicle at work. We can be actually writing out a bill just you know, I have the ability to actually write this bill off or find a positive way of looking at it. You know, my health, you know, I might have shoulder issues back in the day, but I'm really happy I'm able to actually lift my arm up. You know, find the positive out of that because if I keep on giving it a negative emotion, the negative emotion is gonna start trying to come back into the reality to be able to get released from. So the more we get ourselves back to that present moment, we're not gonna allow that, that thought or that emotion to persist more, because we're not resisting. Because if we get ourselves back into the present moment, that's just who we are, that's just what it is, the, only the present moment. So if we find ourselves getting off tangent and maybe getting ourselves kind of frustrated or nervous or anxious or internally giving ourselves guilt or shame or what we, why we did that back in the day, Get ourselves back to the present moment. It's always here. It's always going to be there for you. So we just kind of keep that going, keep that a subconscious habit because those, those thoughts, if you make it a habit of getting back to the present moment and have such willpower of kind of getting yourself back to the present moment, those thoughts will just slowly deplete more and more and more. So let's just kind of say throughout the day to day, you're always constantly in your mind like 99% of the time. Well, the more you don't give it enough energy or uh, you resist it, that it's gonna make it persist and you just find yourself just, oh yeah, I gotta be back in the present moment. You get yourself in the present moment, you're looking at ourselves going at like 99, 98, 97, and then throughout the day, you're actually enjoying it much, much more. So it doesn't matter if that's at the beach. It could be anywhere. It could be in you know, your hometown. It could be sitting there you know, watching a little bit of TV or something. Just really hone into the actual moment itself because that's why we spend so much money going so far, so which way, just to enjoy the actual present moment. So the better we can program our mind or condition our mind, if you want to put it in that sense, of being more present in the moment, we won't have to go anywhere. We can be anywhere and we can enjoy just as much as I would going to a lovely beach. Don't get me wrong, I want to, I really want to go to this beach. It looks great. Oh, another a lot of other things too, but um, just certainly kind of keep that in mind. If you find yourself kind of getting caught up in your own mind, just come back to that breath. So the big thing that we're going to be looking at now for next week um, for our kind of transition through this is going to be the importance of sea salt. And what we're doing on the bottom there, let's see if I can do this. Ha! You know, so we're going to be at six o'clock. So we're going to actually do a transition. We're going to be doing watch parties like you could do as you're watching now. So Dr. Chip might be coming up first on the 27th, and then I'll be coming here on the 28th, and Dr. Mark will be coming there on the 29th at all six o'clock Central Standard Time. We'll be doing these watch parties, and we're going to be doing these just so we can actually watch ourselves. So hi Eddie, no, just <laughs> So then you can, you can answer questions while we're doing this. So certainly here to help you guys out. Um, if you're not gonna be up with us live, we will always be here on Instagram and Facebook at Quincy, Illinois, actually Natural Health Quincy IL. And then we'll be at Natural Health Quincy on YouTube and Brightian. We'll be putting all these videos on here. If you think you've forgot something or you wanna look something back up, you're always welcome to go back there. You can even give us a call. Um, I love doing the coaching. I love talking to people about emotions because of the, the personal success I've gotten from this. Um, Dr. Chip uh, that spoke with us yesterday, he will be, um, he's also the chiropractor here at Natural Health and he would love to have you in here just to kind of help you as much as you can, your personal um, level of things, as well as Dr. Mark that you saw on Monday um, on the nutritional side as well as the chiropractic side. So we're really, we're really trying to find the best ways that we can possibly help everyone out. So at 217-228-2040 is where you're gonna be able to schedule your appointments. And you can always find us at 2000 Jefferson, Quincy, Illinois, 6231. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Have a great day.